Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add chatbot on Google Sites. The first thing you want to do once you're on sites.google.com, you're going to simply select the template that you'd like to use to create your website, or you can simply select your website if you have one created already. The next thing you will need to do is open a second tab, and I want you to go onto ladbot. Dot io. So you are going to go on to landbot.io and you are going to sign up and this is going to be the platform that we will be using to create our chatbot and you can sign up for completely free as they offer a 14 day free trial period and you don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. Once you have entered your email address and you have verified it, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on the dashboard, I want you to tap right where you see create a bot for and you are going to tap on web. Then from there you have a few options. You can either choose to start from scratch or you can have the AI build one for you or you can use one of their preloaded templates. For this example, we will be building one from scratch. So we are going to tap on start from scratch. After you have tapped on start from scratch, you will be redirected to a new dashboard. On this dashboard, you'll be able to organize your chatbot as you can see right here. So you can see this is the starting point. So as you can see, if I were to tap on the plus right here, select first message, you can see the first message that will pop up says, hi there, I'm simple answers. And if you would like to change the message, you can tap right there. And you can type in something else or something more. So let's say, for example, I type in, how are you doing? Just for example sake. After you have done that, if you would like to change the GIF, you can do that. If you would like to add an additional message or an additional media, you can do that also. Once you are finished and it is to your liking, you can tap on the plus at the bottom of the GIF right here and you'll be able to add a second rule. So let's say for example, you want to add something else, you could tap right there and you could add a second message. So to add a second message is, you can simply tap right where you see send a message and from there you could simply type in something else. So for example, let's say I would like to type in, how has your experience been or how can I help you? Let me see how can I type that in you could tap on the X right there so you can see I currently have four chains right there so starts right here then it goes right here so better yet three you can see right there and if I would like to add something else I can tap on the plus to add something else or if you were to tap on the three dots in line with any one of the blocks from there you can choose to either duplicate the block or if you like to delete a block, you can do that by tapping on delete. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on design at the top of the page. After you have tapped on design, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Then from here, you can change the outlook of your dashboard better yet or the layout. You can see how it looks right there. So for example, if you like to choose a different template, you could tap on design templates from the left hand menu option. And from there, you could choose a different color for your template as you can see right there. Or if you like to change the background and font, you can do that. If you like to change the avatar, you can also do that. Then you can tap on settings from the top menu option. After you have tapped on settings from here, if you would like to change the bot name, you can also do that. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on share from the top menu option. After you have tapped on share from here, you can see four different options. So you can either choose for the live chat to, for it to be a live chat like this, a full page chat or embedded or pop up. You have quite a few options. For this example, I want it to be embedded. So I'm going to tap on embedded right here. But if you want it to be full page, you could tap on full page right here if you wanted or if you wanted it to be a live chat. 
so you can see the different options but i'll select embedded then i'm going to simply scroll down and i'm going to tap on copy to copy the code then you can go back onto google sites once on google sites you can scroll down and you can select a section that you would like to add the chatbot in so let's say for example this section right here and you'll go over to the right hand menu option tap on embed then you are going to select embed code and you are going to paste in the code that you have copied then tap on next then from there you are going to see a preview of it after you have seen the preview once it loads up you are going to insert so let's select insert real quick after you have selected insert you will now see that you have added your chatbot to your website so just give it a few seconds to load up and you can see the chatbot right there all you'll need to do now you can enlarge it if you want or you can move it to whichever position you want and that is it so you next thing you'll do is simply tap on publish to save the changes and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.